For almost a year now, I've been creating my very own mouse mod to help solve some fundamental issues with gaming mice that prevent us from aiming as accurately as we should be. For some quick context, I worked on aim trainers for 5 years and at Kovax for 4 years as a games physics analyst and a content creator. It's safe to say that I now know a thing or two about aiming, and in particular my main passion of optimizing aiming techniques and ergonomics. With about 30 different gaming mice I've collected over the years, I can safely say none of them are ideal. In fact, they're very far from it. And the thing is, there isn't much they can do about it. Our hands are designed to curl inwards when gripping, but when we do this to a mouse, the mostly straight sides make this rather difficult. To compensate, we grip in laterally with our fingers, which is a weak and imprecise movement. Imagine if the sides of your mouse protruded at an angle perpendicular to your finger so you could grip it directly, without sliding around or having to compensate. Well, understandably, gaming mice don't do this because it would only suit a tiny portion of users and ruin the mouse for everyone else. That's where the claw mate comes in. I wanted to create something robust, modular, and highly customizable so anyone could upgrade their mouse into its most performative version tailored to them. They are available now at struthgaminggear.com and they're all made and shipped from my home in Australia. The final design is this silicon wedge. It is extremely durable, weighing only 0.2 of a gram, has some slight flex to it so it can contour to different surfaces and it's lightly textured to make it easier to grip. Having three different faces means you have many more options available to you. For example, on a mouse like the XM1R, I like to use this gentle slope with the shorter face, and I'll use one for the pinky, ring finger, and thumb. In general, our thumb is already well positioned to grip into the straight sides of mice, so I would consider having one for the thumb to be more optional. On a mouse like the G303 Shroud Edition, my setup looks quite different. I instead flip the wedge around so the shorter and steeper face is showing. This caters to more aggressive grip styles, and I don't bother with adding one for the thumb. So what are they actually doing? Well, having a more perpendicular surface to grip against means we can grip more naturally with our hand, which is stronger and more dexterous. This provides an added bonus of making the mouse feel much lighter than ever before. The same way that a heavy item feels lighter if it has a good handle. It's funny too, now that I've been using them for so long, if I try to aim on a mouse without them, it feels like I'm holding a bar of soap. Ultimately, aiming is all about moving our sensor around so we can get our crosshair on screen where it needs to be. Having a better and more secure mouse grip lets us move our mouse around more confidently and precisely to achieve this. It's just like with handwriting, we use a tripod grip so we can apply force in all directions toward the center so it's secure and we have multiple fingers well positioned to all contribute to moving that pencil exactly where it needs to go. Funnily enough, many pencils and pens will have hexagonal shapes to provide you some flat and more perpendicular surfaces to grip into. When gripping a mouse, we can think of it in much the same way. Each contact point is helping to secure the mouse and can help contribute to the way we move it. The problem is, without the wedges, the grip can be unsteady. Your thumb is very strong and well positioned but often your pinky and ring finger are in a much worse position to contribute. It would be like riding with only two fingers and not having support from the opposite side, or having your pinky as the third finger. You can still technically write, but it feels unsteady and less precise. I've mentioned perpendicular surfaces a few times now, and while that's a helpful reference point to understand what these wedges are doing, it's not necessarily the end goal. If we're talking purely about comfort, then yes, positioning the wedges to have the largest surface area and angled perpendicular to your finger will feel amazing. If aim is your main priority, then this may not still be the case. I do imagine this will depend on the person and the mouse you are using. For example, with my setup on the G303, the face is shorter and the angle is quite steep. So when I'm gripping the mouse, most of the pressure is still on this small area at the edge of my finger, and the second highest pressure point is on the edge here. In my experience, this tactile, reduced surfaced area approach lets me precisely apply pressure to influence the micro-corrections of the mouse. 
Yet, on the XM1R, I use a more gentle angle and a larger face, so why the difference? Well, the XM1R has a lower profile and a very low mounts 1 and 2, which feels great for aiming. But with my fairly large hands, it's difficult to grip. So, the main problem I need to solve to aim well on that mouse is to improve my grip security, which is achieved with the larger surface area and the gentle slope does enough. If I make it steeper, I tend to pull the mouse further into my hand and with the lower back, it can squeeze in pretty far and things start to feel a bit cramped and restrictive. With the G303, the shape is great for my claw grip and larger hands, so grip security isn't as much of a problem. So instead, I can improve the ability to micro-correct and manipulate the mouse. Which is why the more tactile approach of the steeper angle and less surface area works best for me in this case. And there are all sorts of ways to adjust the angles and surface areas. From aligning them together, stacking them in different ways, even down to the adhesives used. And speaking of adhesives, this was probably the most difficult part of the design process. If the wedges came like mouse feet do, with a single peel off adhesive, you would have one, maybe two chances to position them correctly, leaving very little room for experimentation and you couldn't swap them around to different mice or anything like that. It was very important to me to be able to move them around without having to worry about the adhesive drying out and rendering them useless. This presented a few challenges. I needed a strong adhesive that could handle being tightly gripped and could cope with sheer stress. It wouldn't be an issue if we were gripping directly down into the wedge, but considering we grip them sideways, the adhesive has to be designed to handle that. The solution was to use the right, very high bond double-sided tape. This meant I could include an abundant amount of tape in a pack so you don't have to worry about running out. After trying dozens of different adhesives, I landed on using two different tapes to serve two separate purposes. First, there is the 3M 300 LSE. This tape is extremely thin, so the wedge can sit flush with the mouse surface for a seamless fit. It's also transparent, which keeps things looking clean, and this particular adhesive is great at dealing with sheer stress, which is perfect. The second one is a thicker mounting tape. This option is great for experimenting. You can move the wedge around many times over days or even weeks before the adhesive wears out. It's also a great option for adhering to tricky surfaces like mice with holes or curved shells. The extra height of the tape can also be used to customize your angles and setup. For example, on the G303, I use a thicker tape with a steep angle to help prop it up a little higher so I have just that bit more to grip onto. So, with all that being said, where does that leave us? Well. In my honest opinion, I do genuinely believe that the Clawmate is the next step in progressing keyboard and mouse aiming. I've been using them religiously since the first prototypes early this year. If they didn't help, I wouldn't bother. But considering they provide me with a tangible advantage and improve my aim, I'll happily continue using them. It has been a mammoth undertaking going through the design process to actually have a physical product that I can package up and I'm so proud of how they turned out. I'd like to thank everyone watching for all the support over the past year on this channel and even longer if you followed along during the years over at Kovax. Without you, a project like this wouldn't have been possible for me to do. If you're interested in picking up your own pack of Clawmates, they're available now over at StruthGamingGear.com. I'll be making more videos on this mod soon, but for now, if you'd like to see more, you can check out the instructions that came with the pack in this video here. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.